guys, I'm Aidan from GTG Coaching. So I want to go over the skit that we did at the Baseball Character again and what exactly that was about. So I've called it, Don't Ignore the Elephant in the Room. So in the case of the Baseball Character, he acknowledged at the beginning of the video that there was a problem going on with his training and he needed to some, do something about it. So he did some research. It was quite biased. He was looking for what he, he wanted to find and he came across a bit of a solution in terms of structuring his training. But then the issue was he did exactly the way he wanted to. So he didn't quite understand or grasp the full concept of what the structured training was about. He set himself up for seven days a week, uh, three times a day, which is obviously excessive. I'm just using it to demonstrate a point um, during the video. And then every session was like 100%. He gave himself an RP of 11 out of 10 in terms of rate of perceived exertion. And uh, death by burpees was the other one. So he kind of had a slight bit of knowledge in that one, a bit of an idea, and then he just ran with it. And then lo and behold, the problem actually gets worse for him. So he just covers it up and he just ignores it. So he's down in the pre-workout, just trying to get himself uh, up and running just to power through the sessions and it's not going anywhere. So the next thing he goes to is a frantic searching and this time it gets really, really biased. So now he is basically just typing in things that he wants to find, more or less, and he goes straight for um, a satellite. So he determines that he must have seasonal affective disorder, as opposed to overtraining, not structuring the training at all, probably not sleeping, things like this. Doesn't want to go there, okay? Easiest one is seasonal depression. So seasonal depression is a thing, and not trying to mock it, but obviously in the case of this video, it's unlikely that that's what, what the Beast Mode character had. So after that, similar to the first search, he doesn't really pay attention to how he's meant to use the satellite. Instead, he sets it up during his training session and uh, lo and behold, turns the lights out and it doesn't work. So he throws it in the bin because that mustn't be the thing that is causing the problems with him. So. He giggles Wim, Wim Hof. So the Wim Hof method, I partially don't know a ton about it. Um, I, I don't know whether it is successful or not, but it's something that comes up. And once again, you know, he goes off and he uh, puts himself in the cold shower. He doesn't really fully read into and understand what he's doing. And although the video ends at that point, you know, it doesn't work. The Wim Hof method does not work. He is ignoring the elephant in the room. So the main point of this is that this actually can happen a lot, where this is a real extreme example. It, it happens a considerable amount, um, especially with people uh, that we come across or coach or, or speak to. And it's just the idea of not having great objectivity. Uh, so, so when something goes wrong, a lot of times it's very helpful just to take a step back from it, if you've got some good self-awareness and think, Right, can I look at what the, the, the most obvious thing here is that's occurring to it? So a lot of the times people will begin to um, look in the wrong area or things that make sense to them or things that, that can be easily fixed. Um, the main contributor to the problem is something that's actually very, very hard for them to change or else they don't want to because it's tough or they really enjoy an aspect to it or, or something else. or. There's a bit of knowledge involved in the area, which is another one, and that can lead people off down rabbit holes and things like this because they understand a bit of a concept, so they begin to go off into caveats and, you know, I've made this mistake myself and a lot of other, other people have as well. And at that point, it's helpful to have someone just sort of come in, give you an objective point of view and say, this here is probably the thing that's going on. This is the elephant in the room that you're ignoring. It's not these areas but I appreciate, you know, the elephant in the room is the, is the hard one to address. And that's usually what happens a lot of the times. So if you're struggling with something um, in your training, anything like that, you're maybe not recovering or maybe it's an injury or something, you can't get past it. Is there a chance that you are sidestepping, just missing or ignoring the elephant in the room?